Hello friends, uh, this is Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Sir YouTube channel. I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I have already uploaded 300 videos. So to receive the latest technology videos, uh, you need to click on bell icon to receive the latest technology videos. So in this video, I am going to share Jira software entry questions for freshers as well as experienced candidates. So those who are looking for uh, most frequently asked entry questions in Jira tool, then this is the best video for you. So let me uh, give brief description about Jira. Jira is a defect tracking tool or project management tool. It has been a part of software testing and development cycles for years. So it is developed by Atlassian which is commonly used for defect or issue tracking as well as project management. Now go through the some of the frequently asked uh, entry questions from basics to advanced level. The first question is what is Jira and why Jira is used. The Atlassian Jira is basically an issue and project tracking tool which allows us to track any project related work by following a proper workflow. Then why Jira is used? So here are the some of the uh, advantages or benefits by using Jira. The first one is it has able to track project progress from time to time. The second benefit is Jira use cases include project management, feature implementation, bug tracking, etc. The third benefit is a workflow can be easily customized as per our requirement. The fourth one, along with issue tracking, history of the work done on issue, when, what and by whom can also be tracked. The next benefit is Jira is a platform independent and can run anywhere. The next question is explain Jira workflow. Workflow means a series of steps or stages an issue or bug goes through during its life cycle from creation to the closing on of issue. So uh, let me uh, draw here I, I have already drawn this diagram to, to make clear this answer properly. So the workflow here includes the creation of an issue that means creation or open an issue and then series of actions series of actions for formal to fix the issue and the last step includes the closing or completion of the issue after verification the next question is explain what type of uh, report types generated by jira there are multiple reports available in Jira which are used to show the project statistics throughout the project lifecycle. There are general reports available for analyzing issue. See here. So here there are general reports available for analyzing issues as well different reports from scrum projects. So these are the agile projects that means the scrum project reports and general uh, issue types of reports. So in general uh, issue analysis reports those are average age report, created versus resolved issue report, high chart report recently created issue report, resolution time report, single level group by report and a time science issue reports. These are the uh, reports regarding issue analysis whereas uh, scrum reports that means agile reports are burn down chart report, burn up chart report, sprint report, velocity chart and uh, cumulative flow diagram version report, epic report and control chart, epic burn down and release burn down. So these are the uh, 
uh, some project management reports. The next question is explain three colors indicators and their significance in Jira. Sorry, here one question is missed. Explain step by step procedure of how an issue created in Jira. So, whenever an issue or defect is encountered while testing, it needs to be reported so that the developers can work on it and take the necessary action to fix it. So, uh, we will see uh, step by step how an issue is created in Atlassian Jira. First, uh, you need to log in to your Jira account by using valid credentials and get direct to the dashboard. So here is uh, my Jira dashboard. I already log in with my valid credential details. And then you need to click, click on create button. This is the create button. And, the, and then it will navigate to a window for creating an issue. So here you will find bug, task, story, epic. So you can write here uh, some issue like story. So here you need to enter all necessary details as required to create an issue. So you need to write down summary, uh, something uh, transaction fail, transaction fail, and uh, you can write a description as well. Yeah, so I'm just showing the example. You can write as for your requirement to create an issue. So here giving a priority, highest, high, low, medium. So I am giving priority high and the labels, attachments. So you can attach screenshots also from here. And then link issues. You can link the issues by block or block by clause uh, uh, regarding that issue and the issue types. So epic link. And then click on finally create button to create an issue yes the issue why c3 transaction well, that means okay so in this way you can create an issue so once again i will going to explain so you need to click on create button that means plus button okay so now i am going to explain one by one field This is the project field, uh, project for which we can creating an issue is selected. Here my project name is uh, yahoo.com, that means YC. If you have more than one project, uh, click on the drop down button. If you have more than one project, uh, here list will display. And then issue type. The, uh, this field, uh, the nature of the issue is selected from the drop down which contains options like uh, uh, bug, task, epic, story, etc. So, after that, you need to give summary. Summary field contains the one line title of the issue which imports the critical information about the issue in summarized way. The more effective the issue headline, the more you can show the criticality of the issue. Uh, the next one is uh, description. This is the description field. Uh, the detailed description of the issue is written here. As you can see, uh, I have already uh, written a transaction fail concept. And you also give in description, you can also write in the description field steps to reproduce the issue, actual result, expected result are included in the description. The next one is 
priority. The, uh, this field defines uh, which issue should be considered first to be fixed. Testers select the priority of the issue from the drop down based. So, like this drop down based, the testers will select them. The highest priority will be test first. Next, in attachment. So, in attachment field, any video or screenshot related issue is being uploaded here. And then, so uh, after that, you can click on create button. You can easily create the any type of issue. Okay. So, this is the process to create an issue step by step process. Uh, next question is explain three colors, indicators, and their significance. Uh, this is the most frequent lawsuit for real time experience candidates. For any particular issue in Jira, three colors like blue, green, and orange is used to denote the amount of time spent on any particular issue. This information is displayed under time tracking section. Then where is time tracking section? Let me show you. So in the dashboard, in the Jira software dashboard, you can see here time tracking. So here you can see now what color is appearing here displaying blue color. So blue color means this color is to denote original estimate that is the time estimate to be invested in the resolving the issue. That means it is estimated time. I have given here time also. So if it is orange color instead of uh, uh, blue color, the, or the orange color determines the time left for resolving the issue. This field has been labeled as remaining. If it is green color, this color defines the actual time that has been used or say spent in resolving the issue so far. This field has been labeled as logged. So that's it. The next question is How is an issue linked to Jira? So this is also one of the most important question how an issue uh, linked in Jira so here as the name itself defines linking means association between the two so in the same way in Jira issue is linked with any other issue in cases like related to any other issue, duplicate to another issue, black block another issue. So for displaying the details of the link issue, there are two fields available in Jira. The first one is link issue and issue. I have already already seen whenever whenever we are creating an issue, there are two fields available here. See link issue. And issue. Link issue section contains the, the drop down for the options to be selected as the reason for linking the issue. As for the selected option, the suggestion of the issue to be linked in display in issue drop down. Suppose if you select here block, as per the uh, option selected, it's showing here. See. If you don't select any option here, it doesn't show anything here. Okay. If you select a block, then as per our selection, it's showing. See here the result. What we need to do with this issue. So linking of issue can be done either on the same or different Jira servers. The next question is. Explain how particular project details are listed in Jira. So this is also one of the 
real time entry question explain how particular project details are listed in jira every project has some main attributes which have to be displayed in the project summary that means the name of the project key components version okay uh, let me show you uh, here so here my project uh, go back to jira software so here this is the component name of the project this is the name of the project key and uh, lead url state some versions components or everything will be these are the attributes of the project the next question is explain difference between scrum and carbon this is a very very important question uh, for pressures at the same time experience also because uh, nowadays the alternative for scrum is kanban only so for that reason why we are using scrum instead of uh, kanban so now we'll see uh, the similarity and difference between jira scrum and jira kanban first let me see the difference between scrum and kanban scrum board is the work mode where progress of sprints and the tracking of its work is done here the team deter determines the list of issues that has become backlog and then these issues are removed to sprints as per team plan in the case of kanban board the work in pro progress activities is being maintained and their process flow is tracked here the team decided decides the increase and decrease of the number of issues that is to be displayed in each status of the workflow then what are the similarity between uh, both uh, uh, scrum and kanban means uh, these are considered as the most powerful process tool for optimization of work and uh, the process as both process focus is on continuous optimization and visualizing the workflow in these cases large and complex tasks are broken down and each individual task are worked on and completed efficiently okay uh, next question is what are the most useful jira add-ons most of the uh, useful jira add-ons add are jenkins continuous integration user snap slack hipchart github phaser duty tempo time sheets the uh, you can add one more question also uh, what comes under jira scheme what comes under jira jira schema so this is also one of the important question what comes under jira scheme jira scheme consists of the the following things the workflows issue types custom field screen field configurations notifications permissions so these are the most frequently asked important questions uh, for jira uh, related uh, entry questions so please prefer before attending attending any uh, jira related entry questions so if you like our videos please likes our videos and shares our videos and also subscribe our videos so thank you for visit have a nice day